the familiar sound of emergency vehicles. Once again, a German city is on high alert after a violent attack. The fourth in what Bavaria's interior minister called the country's days of terror. Last night, a Syrian man blew himself up outside a wine bar, just yards away from a music festival where he was refused entry. Fifteen people were injured. Four are in a serious condition. The Bavarian Interior Ministry say a video in Arabic was on the bomber's phone, showing him pledging allegiance to the leader of the so-called Islamic State group. In it, the bomber announced a revenge attack against Germany. I think this video shows unquestionably that the attack was a terror attack with an Islamist background, that the perpetrator had Islamist convictions. Police say he had a bomb in his backpack, with many metal parts that could have killed and injured many more people. Had he been allowed into the crowded event, this could have been worse. Suddenly there was an extremely loud bang, more like a loud rattle, definitely the sound of an explosion. I was shaken. I didn't know what it was. I went back, away from there. We were sitting on the steps when we heard the explosion and we started running in this direction. I saw a man on the floor, his head, there was blood, and they tried to push me away and I pushed through and tried to get back into the concert and they let me in when I said my little sister was still in there. The man tried to enter the festival grounds of the Ansbach Open Concert, but he was turned back because he had no ticket. At around 10 past 10, he then detonated the explosives in his rucksack outside Eugene's wine bar. The bomber lived at this shelter with other migrants and refugees. Officials say his application for asylum in Germany had been rejected because he was a registered refugee in Bulgaria and he was due to be deported there. This morning, police were removing belongings and found material that could have been used to make a bomb. A housemate says the attacker claimed to hate ISIS but like to seek attention. He always uh, said that, uh, no, I'm not with them, I don't like them, and such stuff. But uh, I think he had some issues, because, uh, you know, uh, he told lies uh, so, so often without any reason, and uh, I understand that he wants to be in the uh, center of uh, attraction. The incident comes at the end of a violent week in Germany. On Friday, a German teenager of Iranian descent shot dead nine people at a shopping centre in Munich. The shooter had a history of mental illness and may have been inspired by the far right. On Sunday, a 21-year-old Syrian man wielding a machete killed a woman in what police believe was a domestic dispute. All this after an attack in which a 17-year-old asylum seeker armed with an axe, injured five people on a train in Bavaria. He was shot dead after the attack, which was claimed by the Islamic State group. The fact that this bomber was an asylum seeker will fuel further debate about Germany's open-door refugee policy. The country's interior minister defended Angela Merkel's approach, pointing out none of the attackers have been from the group of refugees who arrived last autumn, after Merkel's declaration that Germany's doors were open to those in need. But his words will do little to silence those calling for tighter controls over refugees arriving in Germany.